r slash ask reddit women who have ever felt the urge to disappear and start a new life elsewhere, what prompted that urge for you? What did you decide to do, and how did it turn out for you? Also make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. I just get bored. I've lived in 10 cities in 3 different countries. I used to throw out everything and move somewhere new every 3 to 5 years. Been in my current city almost a decade I think, moving to a cheaper city in a few months. I get bored too but I'm mostly unhappy and annoyed with my job and particular people than the city I live in. I've moved to two different cities in the last 4.5 years and I've had the itch to move again but further away where I don't know anyone. The places I've moved to in the past, I either had family already living there or I wasn't too far away from them. I'm not 100% sure why I want to run away from everything and everyone I know. Maybe I'm curious to see if I can actually do it. Anxiety about things like money and finding a job that suits me is what stops me from seriously looking into it further. I think if I had a more positive outlook on things, I'd be on my way. Iocom considering doing this as soon as possible. I had a baby a few weeks ago and my whole family treats me terribly for it. They also hate my husband. Not only that, but I have a stalker who has tried to steal my baby, put my address online to have people harass me, and put my baby and myself in danger. I want to run away to somewhere isolated with my family, never let anyone know where we are, never tell anyone anything too personal again, and live happily ever after. Damn do it. You should think about yourself and the safety of your family, husband and child. People who abuse you even if they have the same blood as you are not family. I suppose it's really hard but you should give it a try. Take example of people in comment. I wish you a happy life, I'm not good in English sorry, Ola SC. I did it. My hometown is a sunken place. There echoes no room for growth there. I had wanted to move away from there since I was a teenager. I always felt I was bigger than that place. There was so much more to life than that place. I was in a relationship that kept me there. As soon as we broke up I packed myself and the kids up and moved to a big city. I deactivated all of my social media accounts and life has been awesome since. Happy life is going well for Yat. I just want to know who I am, not who everyone in my life expects me to be but who I really am. I don't know who that person is and I would love to get to know them. I would like to run far enough to find me again. I had a bit of a life crisis myself but I am a single mom so I can't cut Leviox and being stuck made it so much more stifling and I just strayed further from knowing who I was as a person. So I went into the woods instead. I took a week, two separate times, and went solo into the woods for a week. It was no cut total isolation but it was as close as I could get and I found so many missing pieces of myself along those trails I was possible to find who you are without ditching your current life. You just have to be a little efficient, half joking half serious, with your self discovery time. I hope it helps socks. I dropped put of college and left my terribly boring hometown for NYC. Best time of my life and an incredibly positive change for me. Sometimes we need a change of location. Sometimes we need a change of mindset in our existing location. Only you know what you need. But remember that you take yourself with you wherever you go. My parents wanted to control every aspect of my life track my phone location even when I turned 18 and was living in the backyard. I kid you not I got yelled at because on one of my days off during the summer I went to the pool in town my dad saw my location and wanted me to go home and sit in the yard while he was at work. I didn't want to fight so I did. That happened in July. My breaking point was when I wasn't allowed to even use the bathroom or eat unless I asked to go into the house and one of them had to be home. Needless to say two months later I got a bus ticket and moved to Colorado and had some hard times but I met my amazing boyfriend and his family that took me in. We moved to another state three months later and I'm slowly getting over the trauma my parents caused but I'm doing better mentally. I could make a list of all the BS I had to deal with over the years of what led me to leaving but this is the best I could do without trauma dumping too much. What the fuck? So you weren't allowed in the house, but you also weren't allowed to leave the yard? I've seen dogs treated better than that, uneasy face. I thought my mum was bad. I'm just so thankful smartphones weren't a thing when I was a teenager or I imagine my upbringing would have been even more controlled. 
I was miserable in my small city. There was simply no growth and my family wanted me to be their spinstress slave. I sold as much as I could and moved to Texas. I cut almost all contact for a significant period of time. I made a lot of people mad. I have skipped funerals, birthdays, weddings, and much more. I have zero regrets. I talk to people some but at a limited capacity. There's lots of boundaries and lots of reminders that I no longer am around to assist. It's hard for people to let you go and accept dot the change you will undergo. I could see me going full no contact at some point but likely with a lawyer intermediary. Someone to communicate in case of various deaths. Ah the term, spinster slave Emily Dickinson went through this. The spare women who are expected to be the babysitters, carers, house cleaners, cooks, etc. The older they get, the more invisible they become. I just looked up spinster sits someone who spins and baby, you did that? You spun right out of there and are weaving your new life. It was a few years after I graduated, and I was working a good enough job in a good enough town. I started to realize I could just coast along and live like that forever. Quit my job, broke my lease, sold all my stuff, cut my hair off. Bought a backpack and some gear, and I hiked 2,000 miles through the woods from Georgia to Maine. I had never backpacked a day in my life. It gave me the courage to make several mildly less extreme changes later in life, and sometimes I hardly recognize myself from before. Did you keep a journal? Transferred universities to a different country, after my degree moved to another and started my life here. Essentially, the reason was to get away from my family and their golden child. Wow. I thought of doing something similar with uni but I never had the courage to do it. Usually the urge strikes when I'm feeling bored and unfulfilled, or overwhelmed by expectations placed on me. I don't do anything about it except maybe try to be gentle on myself until the sharpest point of the urge passes. I feel this way all the time. Not because anything is particularly bad, but because I want to experience different things and I have a bit of a restless spirit. That said, I usually just book a vacation to somewhere and I feel fine. I'm doing this when my father passes in the future, because then I have nothing keeping me here, or as the person I currently am. I'm just sick of expectations, sick of the same old, sick of someone always knowing someone who knows someone. I feel like I'm never allowed to be my own person and it's been slowly smothering me for a long time. I already started this journey last year by ending all of my friendships, which honestly is one of the best decisions I've ever made. One day I hope I'll be able to feel the exact same freedom and relaxation when it comes to my entire life. I've changed my name and moved country several times. Just gave away all my stuff and left. I went everywhere and it was awesome. But also I'm probably running away from childhood trauma. Is changing your name quite a process? Can a person really truly disappear? A name change would be a great first step. I experience that urge all the time. Usually when things are no cut going well or IOCOM spiraling. I just want to upend my life and disappear. Thankfully IOCOM not too impulsive and IOCOM anxious about doing anything without planning. By the time IOCO come up with my plan to disappear, where IOCOM going and what IOCOM doing, the urge passes until next time. I did this about every year being in my 20s. But now I'm probably going to do it every five years. I love it. Everything eventually works out but you have to have a goal and a plan. The goal is to be happy, the plan is how do I get there. I feel like doing this quite a lot, so much to the point would I be able to disappear and start again so no one would know where I am, but then I feel a gut-wrenching guilt of the worry I would put on others even when they have no cut done anything to help me but I have done everything for them, meaning my family. What gave everyone the courage to do this? Am I insane for thinking like this? Why does it have to be all or none? Why can't a cut you go somewhere else and people know where you are going? I've done it four times, about to make move number five. I just have no idea where to go. Part of me wants to try a brand new area in an expensive part of the country where I'd have to rent, 
but another part wants to go somewhere cheap and finally buy a house and make a home for myself. I did. I lived in three different countries for a decade and just recently came back home. Turns out I loved the adventure but I think I was also distracting myself from difficult emotions until I burnt myself out. Now slowly recovering and facing some childhood trauma. My boyfriend and I ran away to see a 3k miles from where we were living a decade ago. He simply asked me if I wanted to move to CA tomorrow to grow weed. I of course said yes but give me a couple days to say goodbye to my friends. Best decision of my life. I was really digging a hole for myself at that time in my life. Was wrapped up in addiction and involved in the sex industry. A couple years after we moved we had our son and it completely changed both our lives. I flipped my whole life around and started college when my son was born. We still live on the west coast but are out of CA now. Living our best lives and created a fun, safe space for our son to grow up in, which is something my husband nor myself had growing up. Mom brag, our son is testing in the top 2% of our district and is about to skip a grade. I'm so proud of where we ended up and tell our story all the time. I would not have the beautiful life that I have now had I not been willing to let it all go and start over somewhere new. Highly recommend been clean from hard drugs for nearly a decade, own my own company, and am passionate about my hobbies and family. I would no cut say ok disappear okal but def started a new lease on life following divorce, moved to a warmer climate and have a no cut look back. Never let fear be a barrier for change.